In this video, I'm going to walk you through a CFA level one exam style question on the topic of initially measuring property, plant and equipment. This is a relatively simple um, concept. Um, and the ideas behind it are very, very simple to follow. However, there are a few details which I would like you to get right in the exam. So if that's something you want to achieve, please keep watching and let's get solving. So this is the question which I want us to have a go at. Custom Publishing has recently completed the purchase of a new printing machine, incurring the following costs in connection with the process. We've got the purchase price of the machine itself, transport and insurance costs. And in this case, insurance means insurance during the transport process, import customs and duties. So obviously the machine was purchased from abroad, installation and testing, then staff training costs, and additionally, Custom, that's the company, incurred €1,200 to insure the machine against theft over the course of the first year of its operation. The initial value at which the printing machine will be carried in Custom Publishing's balance sheet is closest to. So obviously the question relates to the initial measurement, the value at which the machine will enter the company's um, balance sheet or assets. Okay, what's the uh, general rule for initial measurement? Just like with other items in the balance sheet, initial measurement is typically done at cost. And in the case of property, plant and equipment, that cost is going to include the purchase price plus all costs which are necessary to get the asset it doesn't have to be a machine. It could be any item of property, plant and equipment to a state or a condition where it is ready for its intended use. So all the costs necessary to bring it to the relevant location, but also to make sure it's functioning in a way that is compliant with its intended use. So let's think about which of these costs should be included in the initial measurement of the machine. The purchase price, for sure. That's the first item over here. So I'm going to say, well, initial measurement indeed will include the 300,000 of purchase price. Now, transport is absolutely necessary to get the machine to the place, the state and condition where it's ready for its intended use. So this as well, and if, you know, insurance is a part of the process, I mean, you typically insure um, expensive machinery during the transport process, then we include this as well. Now, anything that was incurred at the border, so custom, um, custom duties, customs and duties, that's also part of bringing or getting the asset to a conditional state where it's, you know, ready for its intended use. The machine had to be installed and tested in order to work properly. Now, the next item is going to be problematic. You typically need to train staff in order for them to be able to operate the asset properly. However, training the staff is not about getting the asset to a state or condition where it is ready for its intended use. It's about getting the people into a state or condition where they are ready to use the asset, which is why staff training costs will not be included in the initial value of uh, property, plant and equipment, which may seem counterintuitive, but that's something you need to be ready for in the exam, because if they want to, let's say, make this question somewhat difficult, I'm sure staff training costs will be one of the items which you need to exclude. So let me say here, exclude staff training costs from the computation. And also we should be excluding the fact that the company incurred some additional costs to insure the machine, but not to insure the transport of the machine to the company, but to insure it for the, you know, against theft for the next year. That has nothing to do um, with getting the asset to a place, a state, a condition where it's ready for intended use. So basically, we stop at these costs 
What's the total? 322 and 2. That's going to give us a total of 334,000 euro of initial value. And that, as you can see down here, corresponds perfectly with answer B. So that's going to be our answer to the question.